Hello. Because it's raining outside. This is the second time I've been to this location today and had to leave it. I'm gonna wait the storm out. So in the meantime, what do I talk about? <laughs> Let's talk about Avatar. Zuko is my favorite character. A lot of people could argue, myself included, that he has one of the best character developments in cinema history, TV history, etc. Um, he goes from being a real jerk, 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 jerk of the week, <laughs> to being a really awesome dude who helps save the world. So Zuko's pretty sweet, right? Why I admire Zuko is he, number one, accepts his faults and his actions. He takes responsibility for them. He tries to make good karma within his current situation to make up and to balance out and correct the bad karma he's done. You know, you could make all the excuses of like, well, Zuko grew up in this really horrible, awful family, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But it's no excuse for his actions and behaviors. And the same thing can be said for anybody, really. <laughs> that's why like a character like Zuko is very like, um, inspirational to me because I mean even he says it himself he's like I've had to figure this out by myself and I've had to go on this road by myself and I've learned a lot and I have found out the truth he was able to confront his father like he was able once he was able to like say hey this road this path that I've been on like it's not good for me it's not good for anybody else he becomes self-aware and he confronts his father and he's like you don't have any control over me anymore like you were an to me and I'm gonna go thank my uncle and beg for his forgiveness because he actually cares about me and his dad's like ha 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 good luck with that very abusive parent kind of response like so like seeing how Zuko kind of like escapes that scapegoat role uh, he takes responsibility for himself it doesn't mean what his family did to him was right like Azula or um, Ozai so he takes responsibility and he knows it's gonna be a rough road and that's why he's just like Ah, uh, how do I convince these people I'm on their side? Uh, he confronts them and it's not, it's not easy because like how do you trust somebody like that who's hurt you so much, you know? But, you know, he proves it through his actions and that is another kicker right there. So awareness, the willingness to improve, making the efforts to improve, and then lastly like showing it through your actions. But Zuko does prove that by helping the Avatar team, the gang. Um, he helps every single one of them in a way. You know, we didn't get the top, like, um, field trip, which is a shame, but like, <laughs> you know, it's still good. So, you know, it takes them a while to see that, but it's really the actions and behaviors that kind of prove it. And so, yeah, he makes mistakes, and he continues to make mistakes. He's willing to own up to them and correct them. All the habits die hard. So, again, it's owning up, making a conscious effort to change, and then implementing it with action. And so he does that, and he does change his life. He's a much happier person. You know, like at the very beginning of the series, like he's looking for love in all the wrong places. Zuko's my favorite character ever because he's just, it's all about his, the intent, his heart's intent. He has a very, very big heart and he really wants to change. And so you have to want it and you have to actually make an effort because wanting is one thing. A lot of people talk about the things they want to do, but how many people do you actually see go through with it? So you have to be willing and able to do that and deal with all the roadblocks in the way and also be willing to stumble and fall and fail. Because we see that happen to Zuko all the time. He's like failing all the time. But that's what makes him awesome is his tenacity, his perseverance, and desire to succeed. And so like he's bet he was misguided, but then when you put it in the right niche, he does very well. And so yeah, yeah, Zuko is my favorite character ever and I don't know if any other character can top that. I mean, it's been 10 plus years and he's still my favorite and I haven't seen a single series top that. Not even close. And I'm proud of that because Avatar is a damn good series. <laughs> I love Zuko, he's cool. If you're gonna have any fictional role model like him, <laughs> because he shows how human he really is 
Like, of course we want to, like, idolize and glorify people who seem like they've always been perfect and awesome, but, like, who really is like that? Maybe Jesus was. Let's be real, not many people fit that because we all suck at something, and we all struggle, and we all have issues, and we're all, like, stumbling along our way. And wow, wouldn't that be great if we didn't? But at the same time, we wouldn't be learning without it. So... I mean, that's one thing, again, I love about Zuko is he talks about, like, he's like, I had to go through all that to get to this point to be like, I know now what is the truth and what isn't. And, you know, some people have to go through the school of hard knocks. <laughs> kind of sucks. But, hey, sometimes that's probably the only way to learn. Is this rain over yet? <laughs> I've just been spouting here for, like, almost a half an hour. Actually, I've really enjoyed talking about this.